Hey guys, we have a beautiful three bedroom, two bath home. Has a lot of space, various levels for a lot of things. So everyone has their own place and storage ability is, is endless. So where I'm sitting now standing is the top floor. It's the master bedroom, but it's also combined study. So we'll start here and I'll go upstairs so you can see. So to the left is a walk-in closet. Straight ahead, I wanna call it, you could call it a loft or a study, or you can make it like this beautiful dressing room. And I'll give you some ideas when I go upstairs. So just for starters, this is the large walk-in closet. And I love to walk in the closet so you can see actually how big it is because I'm standing in it. If you wanted to, you also could put a dresser in here. It's an option. But if not, you got shelves. On this wall, you could definitely put a dresser. Up to you, though. Okay, so here. So if you wanted to make this a dressing room, to the left and the right, you can get these chrome garment racks that can go the walk of this and you can have like this walk-in closet concept or you can make it a study and put your desk right here, bookcases, however you think. This top area could be used for stereo or books or library or different pieces of art. Your desk could sit right in front of that because you do have the sunlight from the um, roof, which makes it really peaceful. So I probably, if I made it a study, my desk would be in this region here. So you could do a lot with that. Okay, going back, turn around so you can see. That's that one. And the main private bath is here. You saw to the right already. That's the walk-in closet. And then this is the first part of the bedroom and the second part you'll see through this door. Gotta watch your stuff. Okay, coming through here. Also, you'll mention, you'll notice throughout the video, the blinds are a wood texture, but they're not old school wood, they're modern, but they're different than just the traditional blinds you see a lot. So this is still a part of that main bedroom. In addition to that's your door that's gonna close your bedroom private. So this bedroom has literally two levels that's separate from the house. And we still have more levels to go. So I hope this gives you a good explanation. You can make this so cute and different and unique. I can't wait to see how you're gonna decorate. So this is technically the first floor, the main level. This probably does have two baths. So, that's the level there. To the master suite, that's the living room. And where I stand is two bedrooms and a bath. Go to this bedroom first. You definitely put bunk or two twins or full. A queen could go in, but I would pretty much use a, a, a slender dresser versus a oversized dress chest of drawers. And every room has a really good closets, which I'll show you. And also the room upstairs uh, and the basement, you do have additional area for storage as well. Sip across the hallway. This is the linen closet, and this is the matching um, uh, master, excuse me, secondary uh, closet. The one thing I can say about this house everything has its place, nothing feels overcrowded or not able to be utilized. Everything has its place. So you have the built-ins in the bathroom for your uh, soap and toiletries. And 
And then we're going to shoot down to the main level where you have the living room and kitchen. Okay. Linen closet, excuse me, guest closet, hall closet, the front door. Such a cute front door. The black is super nice. All the owners take care of their property, landscaping. He said pride of ownership. Now, renter's insurance is required, as well as paying all the utilities. Typical is heat, water, electric, gas, and things of that nature. The owner has supplied the appliances, but they're not um, maintained by the owner, they're maintained by the tenant. So here we're in the kitchen, you have a new appliances, refrigerator, stove, microwave, and this cubby here, this area, is sufficient for a nice size table. Get a little closer so you can see the kitchen sink. You do have three doors of the property. This is a side door. When we go into the basement where the laundry is, there's an additional door as well as the front door. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the laundry room. So you got a lot of storage down here also, guys. I did mention or not, it's a two car garage. And it's brick. And we definitely need garages in the winter. It's a full size, nice washer and dryer. Area for laundry, toiletries. It's a little storage area there, but that's the furnace. And if you want to supply and get your own alarm, you just have to pay the service for that. And this is a nice full-size bath. You have a shower here. Everything's new and nice. Got the hooks in the back of the door for towels and robes. It's really cute. So this last room you can use sewing room office or um, more storage but I'll take you in this little area here and come back around definitely be an awesome office if you put an L desk right there in that corner and you can utilize the space in this room you got the blinds natural light coming in um, it'll be nice it's up to you how you want to move it around and make it happen for you so if you want to see this property you can send us an email info at price by faith send me a text 773-301-1091 and remember the rental criteria checklist uh, no evictions you have to have proof of rental payments and you have to be gainfully employed so Please feel free to reach out to us for a showing, 773-301-1091, and make it a great day.